Hi there, my name is Kate and I'm a member of the Data School's 30th cohort at the Information Lab in London. In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter dates using a condition. This will give you an alternative way of filtering dates that is quick and straightforward. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. I've connected to Superstore data in Tableau and as you can see, I've made a simple bar graph to start off with. I've just dragged some of sales onto the columns shelf and I've put the subcategory dimension onto the rows shelf. So we're currently looking at total sales by subcategory in descending order. Usually to look at data from a particular time period, we would just grab a date field, such as um, order date or ship date in this data set, and we would just place that on our filters shelf. And let's say I just wanted to select a particular quarter Tableau does this for us and it's pretty quick and simple. However, what if we wanted to use a more complicated filter than this? Let me just take this off and start again. So for instance, let's say that in our Superstore data, we are only interested in certain days of the month during a certain year. Maybe we ran a promotion on the first of the month, every month in 2018, and we just want to see the sales figures from those dates. We could actually do this using normal filters as we just did. So let's start off by dragging year of order date on. Um, if I right click here and drag it onto the filters, I can easily select years. And I just wanted 2018. So I'll apply that now and Tableau filters it for me. I also wanted the first of the month. So if I go back to order date once again, right click and drag it onto the filters shelf, drop it on, and this time I'm going to select days instead of years and just choose the first of the month. So that's given me pretty much what I expected. Tableau's um, used both of these filters at once and it's just giving me data for the first of the month each month that was in 2018. However, there is a simpler and quicker way to do this. Let's take these two filters off and start again. This time, when we go to order date and drag it on, drop it on filters, I'm going to select individual dates. This is where Tableau will store the full date layout for each order, so day, month, and year. In the tabs at the top of this window, I'm going to select condition. We can see here that if we wanted to, we could add one very simple condition here. So um, if I wanted to choose a particular field, like sum of sales, let's say I wanted to filter out all of the lower value orders and just see the cases where sales were greater than $100. I could use this by field option, but I can only do one thing at a time here. In order to do my first of the month in 2018 condition, I'm going to need to use the by formula box. So I've just selected it here. Let's set the day of order date to be equal to one. And at the same time, we need the year of order date equal to 2018. Now, when I click OK, we will see that both parts of this condition, the day and the year, have been applied at once, all in a single filter. So we don't need to clutter up our filter shelf with multiple filters. We can do it all in one place. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident with filtering dates in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. And if you enjoyed this video, you might be interested in some other how to's that we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. You can click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch one of these next. And finally, subscribe to this channel to get notified whenever we release new videos.